Number 82 says refer to the figure below to find the acceleration of the moving object in each of the following times. So part A says the first five seconds. So uh, remember that acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. So my velocity changes from th the VF minus VI, so 30 minus 0, and the time is 5 minus 0. So 30 divided by 5 is just 6. So 6.0 meters per second squared for part A. For part B, uh, between 5 and 10 seconds. So between 5 and 10. So it goes, the VF would be 30, the VI would be 30, and the uh, time would be 10 minus 5. So that's 0 over 5, or 0 meters per second squared. Part C says between 10 and, fi ten and 15 seconds. So at 10 seconds, it's up here at 30. So that's my VI. So VF minus VI over the change in time. So my final velocity is 20. My initial velocity is 30. The time it took is 5 seconds. So that's negative 2.0 meters per second squared. And then part D. between 20 and 25, so 20 to 25, so VF minus VI over delta T. My final velocity is 0, my initial velocity is up here at 20, uh, tw 20, and tw so 25 minus 20 is 5 seconds, so that's 4.0, negative 4.0 meters per second squared. Ooh, is that what I did for part? Yeah, I did negative, so yeah.